What is up guys, this is Val from P Premiere 3D and you know, I haven't made a video in a while and so since I'm my last video was on Photoshop CS6 telling you that the beta was released I thought I'd, you know, just kind of give you an overview of the new features and just my thoughts on it so <coughs> overall, I think it's pretty pretty nice upgrade uh, compared to CS5 um, most notably, the first thing you're going to see is that it's dark. Um, uh, it's a lot better using a dark interface because it lets you kind of concentrate on the actual image you're editing, or you know, what you, just your project in general. Uh, but if you don't like this, you can always um, just go on your preferences and then change it back under I think interface it is. Yeah, interface. And so yeah, that's black. That's dark. This is how it used to be, and as you can see, it looks kind of horrible. I quite like it dark. Uh, black's a bit too dark. Uh, I'm going to keep it like that. So, yeah. Th that's what first thing you can see. And another thing you'll see is that there's no none of these kind of holes between your image and your menu bar. Like in CS5, this is because now it's a scalable window. Uh... I really like it. So now you can actually, you know, if you want to have two programs open, but you want to have Photoshop as one of them, now you can have split screen. But um, on CS5, you couldn't actually do that. You'd have to have them in two different screens if you have, or like on a Mac, like this, two different windows. Um, but apparently, uh, the scalable window for Photoshop has been on Windows for a while. It's just a Mac update. Um, so yeah. And uh, also you'll see that there are some new filters uh, added to Photoshop. And they're specifically in the blur. And there are these really, there's these cool ones here. So field blur, iris blur, and tilt shift. Tilt shift is probably the one you guys are most likely to have heard of uh, a lot of a lot of uh, artists are using it in their work now uh, I'm not gonna actually show you how to use that right now I might do a future tutorial on that but yeah so if you just click that and then it's quite a nice feature how you can experiment with it and then you can click OK to save it or cancel to not save it basically uh, and as you see that's the f how it looks but I'm just gonna cancel that out um, so yeah, and one of the biggest features of new Photoshop is the Content Aware Move Tool. Now, generally, it'll probably start when you open it. It'll be like this. So you want to click, right-click on your Spot Healing Brush Tool, and this menu will open, like on the old one. But now there'll be a little Content Aware Move Tool, and I think it's a really cool feature. So, say you have an image like this, and you know, the grass look here looks a bit not great. If you want to kind of perfect the image, make it look you know more more perfect than it actually is, then this is a great way to do so. So just draw around your object. That's you want to try and keep as close to it as possible. So there we go. And as you can see now, if you move it. Now it kind of it predicted what the the uh, actual area would look like if that image part of the image you selected was not actually there, and so then you can delete the the area, and as you can see, it's pretty perfect. Um, then if you want to um, do it in this area as well, you can just slowly drag around and whoop that didn't work slowly drag it around and then unselect it and then just move this way and as you can see it's worked pretty nicely but always if it doesn't work you can just undo that and then you can kind of take a bigger area if you want so like there 
and that's a pretty big area, so might not work. As you can see, it's a bit kind of uh, how do I say it? Kind of kind of blurry around the edges because we've actually taken such a large area. Uh, so it's still not perfect feature, but um, as you can see in this area here, what, when we actually used, it's worked uh, very well. So yeah, that's a pretty cool feature. Uh, so the base, the the idea of that is just basically drawing around things you don't want and um, kind of letting Photoshop do all the recreation of it. Uh, yeah, and there's also a new feature in the um, crop tool over here uh, called the straighten image. So if, you, if your image isn't actually straight, which this image is, uh, you can just kind of basically draw a line across the horizon that you want to be straight. This image is actually straight though. Uh, and as you can see, because I used the mountain as the kind of horizon I want to be straight, it straightened the image according to that. So that's a pretty neat feature. Uh, and as you crop it, it kind of moves the image for you already, which is really cool. Uh, pretty good feature in my opinion if you ask me uh, so yeah that's and then if you just go back to the original tool and then click crop that's the image crop for you so yeah that's been my uh, quick overview on the new Photoshop I think it's a really good program uh, hope you've enjoyed the features if you want I can do some more in-depth uh, tutorials on them such as the blur tool, filter, blurs. Um, I'd be happy to do one on the tilt shift and also if you want content aware. But yeah, that's it for me. Sub subscribe, comment, like, uh, follow me on Twitter for updates. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching and goodbye.